grey, rain and stormy skies here in the Spanish capital. Let's just hope the weather does not set the tone for tomorrow's meeting. A meeting which will be taking place tomorrow at noon at this building behind me. The headquarters for the Ministerio de Asuntos Exteriores, where the Spanish Foreign Minister will be meeting with the eight mayors of the Campo de Gibraltar, the president of the Mancomunidad de Municipios, and the high-level representative from the Junta de Andalucía. He'll be briefing them on the latest round of negotiations, which took place in Brussels just three weeks ago. We're not expecting the Spanish Foreign Minister to make any new revelations at tomorrow's meeting, but what we are expecting is for all invited parties to once again bring their concerns to the Minister. They all continue to be concerned at the prolongment of the negotiations and the fact that an agreement has not been reached yet, although they tell us that they remain hopeful and, on the, and optimistic that an agreement will be reached soon. Someone who remains critical, though, is the mayor of Algeciras, who continues to protest the absence of the Campo de Gibraltar at the table, something shared with the Junta de Andalucía, who once again today have protested the fact that they're not present at those high-level meetings. They continue to argue that many of the issues being discussed are the competence and remit of the regional government and not of the state government. That meeting tomorrow will be taking place at noon, all parties say they remain hopeful that an agreement will be reached. The minister will be briefing them on the latest round of uh, treaty talks. Little is known what he will tell them, but what we do know for sure is that all invited parties will once again bring their concerns to the minister, but in a more emphatic tone. They all are concerned at that new November unofficial deadline, November the 10th, when the new entry-exit system for Europe will become operational. They all believe it could bring chaos to Gibraltar and the Campo de Gibraltar. Kevin Ruiz, Madrid, GBC News.